Our topic for today is the male reproductive system. The slides that we will be studying today include testis, epididymis, and vas deferens. The first slide is the testis. Each testis is formed by convoluted tubules called seminiferous tubules. They are seen in multiple cross sections as shown by the arrow. The human testicular parenchyma contains several important structures. Spermatozoa is produced in the germinal epithelium of the seminiferous tubules and released into the lumina of these ducts. Let's shift to a higher magnification and identify the, in the spermatogenic cells in different stages of development. First is spermatogonia. It rests on the basement membrane of the seminiferous tubule and divides mitotically to produce more spermatogonia and primary spermatocytes. Some of them have round nuclei, while others have oval nuclei. These stem cells lie outside the blood testis barrier. Primary spermatocytes are located in the middle region of the seminiferous tubule within the adluminal compartment. They undergo the first meiotic division. The prophase is fairly long and the chromosomes are condensed in a characteristic manner. Secondary spermatocytes are the product of the first meiotic division. They have 23 pairs of chromatids. Because of this short stage, they are not usually seen on the slide. Spermatids are the haploid products of meiosis. They are spherical cells with spherical nuclei close to the lumen. Close now to the lumen and their nucleus appears as brown rice grains is the final stage in spermiogenesis which is called the spermatozoa. These are the different stages of spermatogenesis. The germinal lining also contains stratolite cells. They are characterized by long angular nucleus. These are the supporting cells which make up the blood testis barrier and secrete the hormone inhibit. Our next slide is epididymis. Each epididymis is formed by a single convoluted tubule seen in multiple cross-sections as shown by the arrow. In this section, the spermatozoa can be seen in the lumen throughout the epididymis. Let's now shift to higher magnification to view the stereocilia. These cells bear stereocilia on their luminal surface as shown by the arrow. These stereocilia absorb fluid released from the testis along with the sperm. It is lined by the pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Our last slide is vas deferens. It is lined by pseudostratified columnar epithelium. It is characterized by a thick muscular wall made up of smooth muscles arranged by inner circular and outer longitudinal. And the outermost layer of the vast deference is called the tunica adventitia. Thank you and start working.